You get this. I don't know if you can hear it, but my oh my! She's loud and she's quick! <laughs> Jesus! So welcome to the new car, guys. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Real Talk and welcome back to another video. This video is very exciting as it is a new car reveal. Um, I've been kind of teasing a lot of you guys on Instagram and on the socials and some of you are bang on with I don't know how, but some of you are bang on with what I've gone for. Some of you are way off the pace. But in today's video, all is going to be revealed and I can't wait to show you. Um, there's a lot of explaining to do, but I want to keep this video kind of short, brief. I want to show you the car straight away and kind of tell you a little bit about why I've decided to go for this car. If you're new to the channel, my name's Christian. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. But without further ado, let's jump into the video and let's see the car. Okay guys, so I've got Johnny behind the camera here. Uh, Johnny's been shooting some awesome photos which should be dropping the same day. Well, most of them. <laughs> the car is started, that's the noise by the way. I know it sounds like my nan walking up the stairs. The car is running. Johnny shot some amazing photos which should be dropping at the same time that this video drops, at least some of them. I think we took like 1500 photos, something crazy. But I'm super excited about the car guys. So before we get into the video, before you see what the car is, You've kind of seen some teasers before. You kind of know what I like. You kind of know that I'm going for something more racy film or track vibes. Post in the comments without skipping forward what you think I've bought. Some of you that have messaged me have got it slightly right. Some of you are way off. But in a couple seconds, 10, 20 seconds, I'm going to reveal to you what I've bought. And I'm gassed. I'm very gassed about it. It's banging, it's different, it's unique. And I think you guys are going to absolutely love it. So without further ado, Let's show you what I bought. Ah. Say hello to my E36 race car. Okay, right, I'll apologize for the noise as uh, there's a plane flying right over me. <laughs> Here she is. You've seen the B-roll, thought I'd do a bit of a walk around. So before anyone says anything, yes, the base car, it's not an official M3. Now I'm gonna say that outright. It was originally a 328i. It has since had a full M3 conversion. And it has also, which you've probably seen if you've not spotted, a very special engine under the bonnet. Uh, which is the S54 out of an E46 M3. You can probably hear it as well. But this car has been absolutely... Oh, I don't know the right word for it. It's been fully kitted out, okay? It's not really something that you'd want to drive on the road all the time. It's a little bit uncomfortable, but it is an absolute weapon to drive. The handling is insane. It is so fast. I'd probably say it's there, thereabouts the same speed as my um, as my M2 Comp in a straight line, probably a little bit off the pace, but the handling is unbelievable. So just to kind of talk you through, I don't know the spec off, off heart, but obviously you can probably see the AAAR tires there, which are just sticky as anything. You've got a full DCAT Super Sprint or Super Sport exhaust, uh, which is for an E36 M3. Full conversion, as you can see. GT genuine ring, uh, wing, sorry, ring, <laughs> which I think's about two and a half grand from the top of my head. Roll cage, bucket seats, fully stripped, the lot. It is, it is a bit of me, guys. 
it is a bit of me. And for those saying, oh, it's not a genuine M3, do you know what? I don't care. I actually don't care. It drives better than what an M3 would. Full LSDs, E46 M3, E46 flywheel, upgraded clutch, big Porsche Brembo brakes up front, which you can probably see there. And it's running uh, for Rodo pads. I believe they're DS 1.1s. But th this is what it's about, right? Now, a lot of you, if I spin the camera around, oh, let me just get that shot there. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. So, a lot of you are probably like, oh my God, why did you get rid of the M2 for that? And I can totally understand that. But for me, I felt most alive. I love driving my cars hard. And if you see my track videos, I will be posting another track video of my last track day in the M2. You'd see that I pushed the car really, really hard. But, wait for the plane to go. I didn't fully, because I was driving the car so much, it wasn't really special because I was using it as a daily. Things were starting to get expensive. I wasn't really appreciating the car as much as I appreciate something like this. And this just feels so different. Like if you're a proper car nut and you're a proper petrol head, you'll know that when you get into a car, you want something that's raw, you want something that's analog. And if you're a proper driver, you want something that you can really drive that there's no other aids, there's no other anything to assist you. This is what that car does. You get in it, it stinks like petrol, which I love, could blow up at any time. It goes like stink, it's manual, there's no ABS, there's no traction control. It is just me and that car, and the way that I feel connected to driving it is like nothing I've ever felt before, it really is. It kind of brings back GTR vibes, but this is definitely more race car-y, and I cannot wait to see what this is like round track. So, enough of me talking, let's jump in. Let's go for a little drive, trust me. Oh, she's loud, she's loud, but She's, she sounds fit. She sounds good, man. So let's jump in, talk a little bit more crap, and then wrap the video up. But there's loads of stuff to come on this car, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So guys, I know what you're probably thinking, right? Like, oh my God, like, why have you got rid of the M2 for this? As I kind of mentioned at the beginning of the video, this, for me, is what a car is all about. Like, I don't drive cars. I, I feel like I've humbled quite a lot. I don't buy a car so people look at it and like, oh my God, like, look at that car. I generally buy a car because the way that it makes me feel. And the M2 was great at doing that, and it looked great as well. But I wanted something more engaging. I want to get more into track days and whatnot. As you see, I, lo I love to drive. And this came up, and I just thought, this is a, this is, this is a win-win. I can save money, first of all. Saving money is a big plus. I can have a car that is more fun, that's more raw, and is just as quick. Now I get lost in the way that car makes me feel. Now this car, to give you some sort of understanding, I don't know if you're gonna be able to feel it. E46 M3 engine, S54 up front. E36 Super Sport race exhaust decat at the back. Short shifter, fully stripped out, what'd you get? Let me just show you. Are you ready for this? You get the best sounding car. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, listen to the downshifts, heel and toe, the smell of petrol, the fuel gauge moving like this. That is what it's all about. Oh, we're gear we in. Let's heel and toe again. Oh, let's rev patch and we'll boot it again. Oh, she goes well. She goes very well. But she's very loud. <laughs> so why did I get rid of the M2? I think I want to cover that off in a different video, to be honest. Let me do the window up. I think I want to cover that in a different video. The M2 is great, I love the M2, and I like to think I really pushed that car to its limit, which I loved, and it was a great car, but for me now, a car is about the way it makes you feel, right? And if you're a true petrol head, if you're a true car enthusiast, you'll get that. The smell, the feeling, the rawness. This car gives me that. The M2 gave me some of that. This car, put it this way, it's got no ABS, it's got no traction control, it's fully stripped out, it is properly set for the track. And I can feel, I've not taken it around the track just yet. I've done, I've gone around some twisty bends and whatnot. And this is set up unbelievably well. All of that with a manual transmission, with a, oh, it, I, I, I've got no words for it. I can't describe how good it makes you feel. And that's what a car should do if you're proper into it. You shouldn't care about what other people think. You shouldn't care about how it looks, about how it drives, how it feels. And if it makes you feel alive, you have got an absolute cherry of a car in this absolutely 100% does that for me. We've got a tunnel now. 
this is what we're going to be doing. Gives me sort of GTR vibes, but also race car vibes. Are you ready for this? I don't know if you can hear it, but my oh my! She's loud and she's quick! <laughs> Jesus! So welcome to the new car, guys. Different, I know, special. Damn sure she's special. Oh. Oh, listen to those downships, man. The handling, the handling is just unbelievable. It is just insane. <laughs> love it. I, 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 I absolutely love it. I hope you guys love it as well. So that's the new car. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you're going to leave negative comments, I ain't going to stop you, but I just ain't going to reply because all I care about is, is this really. And I want to share it with you guys because this is my absolute passion and I absolutely love this car. So I hope you guys love it. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you want your car on the channel, modified or not, please, please email me. I'll have a little link down below. Well, I'll have a, my email address. Drop me an email, drop me a line on Instagram, whatever you need. Drop me a message and we'll organize a video for sure. But thanks again for watching.